yeah, the football business is, it's uh, had so many different levels to it. Of course, you have what the fans see and what you see when you come to the stadium. But there's so much work that goes behind it, I think, also the pressure for a player, having to live with the pressure of playing. It's a lot more uh, than what people sometimes think about a football player and how it is for them. Now I had my, my son, Oscar. Yeah, it's like a dream come true, really, to have your child. And now you, everything's changed because everything I'm thinking of now is not necessarily anymore about what is my dream. It's more about how can I help him maybe yeah. to, to get what, uh, what he wants. Uh, I hope that he's motivated to see that he can do anything he wants, really, if he puts his mind to it, even when uh, people maybe not believe in him, that if he really wants to do anything, anything is possible. I think that's, that's the main thing I'd want for him. I started playing in the academy. So I was at Tottenham Hotspur, which was an amazing club. I was an uh, amazing talent or a standout performer. One of my last moments at the club, before I left Spurs, I had a meeting with one of my coaches where he told me and my mum that he didn't think I was going to become a player, that I wasn't good enough to play. Uh, this was something that really upset me at the time and um, later became a big point for me to prove, first of all to them, then to myself and after to the world that I was good enough to go all the way to the top. When I came back to Wembley in England and played against England with the national team in Nigeria, I proved to everyone else that I could do it. I told you so. <laughs> this is one of the things that's motivating me to do all the extra work to make sure that I do everything I can to get everything out of myself. And I think it's proven now that it's the right formula to go all the way to the top. When we play in Nigeria, it's always a party. So it was a big moment as well to, yeah, to captain Nigeria, such a big footballing nation. I think the Nigerian fans there are so exciting. This football means so much for Nigerians because there's always a lot going on in the country and a lot of negativity. And whenever we play, I feel like we have a moment to just put everything on pause. And when we win, everyone smiles for the day. And, and it's just exciting to see how happy we can make people. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's harder now being away from home, especially uh, when I go to the national team, so I travel for a longer time because your mind is always at home thinking about uh, Oscar, thinking about Molly. And yeah, it's, it's, it's two ways because when I'm home, I love being here, but then when I'm away, it also kind of uh, takes my mind away from whatever I'm doing because I wish I was at home. So um, yeah, it's a double feeling really. Ah. Oh. Man, unbelievable. How cold is that? It's unbelievable. Freezing, man. So, how many games did you play this season already? Like, did you play the whole game? I played all the games, yeah. Then with the national team, all the games. I started training with Lucas because I wanted to make sure I did everything I could to be the best version of myself. I wanted to make sure I didn't have any injuries. I wanted to make sure I was stronger, that I was flexible. And I think that's uh, proven to work now. For me, it means a lot, you know. Yeah, he, he, he asked me to come here. He, he called me 11 o'clock in the night. Hey, bro. Hey brother. He, he asked me like, oh look, so what do you think? Yeah. You have to fight for something, you can't just uh, get there and uh, think that you already uh, made it, you know? Since I started working with Will by online program training, Will improve a lot and uh, his flexibility and the mobility in his body is much better right now. I guess when you are young, you don't know much about your body and then the functional training, that's what we do, helps you a lot. To, to try to improve and then understand your body. And then you can play better and then to perform better as well. I think what I like most about Lucas is that he's motivated, um, he's driven, he always wants to improve. 
and I think he's open to listen to the players and to work with them and uh, yeah, I think this is what makes him very successful. I think the main thing for me was really to believe in myself and also to invest in myself. I've come such a long way from playing football on the street and playing in my primary school and being in England and all these different countries to now being at the World Cup. This is something that I proved to myself and, and to the world that, uh, that I deserve to be at this stage. Shall we answer this together? What did you want to say? Anything else? Yeah, I got to Nigeria and I realised all these things. <laughs> <laughs>